Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. You're welcome to Thursday, the first day of September 2022. I wish you a very happy new month. We're looking today on the seeds of destiny, hearing God and escape route to losses and stagnation. The Bible says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer him when I am reproved. This is Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 1. Thought for the day. Hearing God is an escape route to losses and escape from stagnation. Like I earlier said, I want to welcome you to the beginning of the new month, the ninth month of the year 2022. It's the ninth month and in this ninth month, God shall deliver into your hands all that has been packaged into the month for you. It's a time of delivery. The woman carries pregnancy for nine months. I declare that every expectation shall be delivered this month in Jesus' name. Now, it has been established that divine direction is necessary for life and destiny. That is, God's leading or guidance of a person is a vital necessity for both life and destiny fulfillment. In our study today, we will look at why it is necessary to hear God. First of all, people become victims of massive losses in investment and other areas of life for failing to hear God. People become victims of massive losses in their investments when they don't hear God. There are people that have lost millions for over or, or, or even billions of naira for years because God was saying something to them but they never heard. God was trying to tell them something like don't put your money in that business. Remove your money now from that other investment that you have made. But they would not hear God and they became victims of massive losses. But you will never lose anything in life in the name of Jesus. The second thing is that many are victims of chronic stagnation and delay for failing to hear God. Many people have remained on the same level, on the same spot in life, simply because they did not hear God's voice. You see, until you know what to do, you don't live where you are. You must know what to do and do what you know to do to live where you are. And knowing what to do is a product of hearing God's voice. Many people are stagnated in life for, hearing to hear, for failing to hear God's voice. So beloved, Hearing God is an escape route to losses and stagnation. I decree that you will not be stagnated in life again. You will not know what it means to be redundantly stagnated in the name of Jesus. From today, you will know what to do as God speaks to you in Jesus' name. Remember this, hearing God is an escape route from losses and stagnation in life. What's our assignment today? Number one, make up your mind to hear God at all costs. And secondly, make up your mind to reject any impending loss of stag or stagnation by hearing God. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Let's pray together. Say, Oh Lord, open my eyes to hear your voice audibly. I connect to divine direction and I reject every impending loss or stagnation in life. In Jesus' name, praise the Lord. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you today, the very first day of the month of September. You want to be born again. You want Jesus to wash away your sins. Simply pray this afternoon. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I come to you today in the name of Jesus. Forgive me all my sins. Come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please you, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Congratulations. The 1st of September from today becomes your day of new birth. You will not go back to the world. You will not go back to sin. And God will give you direction all the way in Jesus' name. And congratulations, it's your birthday today. I wish you a very happy birthday. As your days are, so shall your strength be. God cause his face to shine on you and God be gracious unto you in Jesus' name. God bless you. You have yourself a wonderful day. Peace.